Every weekend, self-styled 9-11 truthers gather at Ground Zero. We think we're being lied to, and we can prove that. We're giving out free information about questions of 9-11, and we're giving out free DVDs. This is not a protest, this is a vigil of just giving out free information. Now, we don't come up with any particular theories. We're not going to tell you what happened because we don't know what happened. And I think it's extremely disrespectful from somebody outside of 9-11 to tell you exactly what happened because these questions are unanswered. You know, questions of what happened to World Trade Center 7 are unanswered. I guess everyone's entitled to their opinion. I, it kind of angers me because I was there. I've heard people talk about it that come from Cincinnati and California and wherever else they come from. I, I was here, you weren't. I, I think they have no respect for all the friends of mine that I lost and all the people that died that day. It's like a slap in their face. As, as people, I mean, if you don't you as human camera, beings, yeah. indeed, Excellent. have interviewed these people, you already know the truth. Support a new investigation. In the BBC documentary, you misrepresent his whole entire timeline and say that it was the towers collapsing that caused the explosions he, had, he experienced. That's just one of the many lies, outright, flat out lies inside the BBC documentary about Building 7. Yeah. One more thing about Building We're 7. We're updating it at the moment and uh, we've just interviewed Michael Hess, who was with him at the time. Excellent. Who confirms the timeline we used. Excellent. You used? So yeah. then, what, what about Barry Jennings then? Why did you misrepresent his timeline? Why did you say that it was the towers collapsing that he was the explosion he witnessed? When he clearly says in his interview with Loose Change that he was in the buildings before either tower had collapsed and then he felt the explosion. Why did you misrepresent that? I was inside when the second plane hit. I was already in the uh, uh, World Trade Center 7. Okay. When the you second didn't, plane. You didn't hear that. When I got to the sixth floor before all this happened, when I got to the sixth floor, there was an explosion. That's what forced us back to the eighth floor. Okay. Both buildings were still standing. Keep in mind, I told you the fire department came and ran. They came twice. Why? Because building tower one fell, then tower two fell. As the North Tower collapsed, debris hit tower seven and fires were immediately reported in the building. Early evidence of explosives, or just debris from a falling skyscraper. Barry Jennings was still trapped inside. It definitely happened before our tower, I, I, the tower fell, and I'll tell you why. Barry, I'm sorry, can you just wait for that job? Sure. Because this is vital. Why did you misrepresent that? We did an interview with him as well, at length. And spoke to him for a long time. You, and you, there is a. Why don't you ask him to clarify? Should I just answer the question? Please do. Yeah. Please do. Because we spent a long time researching it Please and do. talking to him in detail. Okay. We had a long, long interview with him and we established the facts. Did you ask him to clarify whether the towers had come down before he felt the explosion? And what did he say? Yeah. And we also spoke he, to Michael sir, Hess. What did he say, sir? So, what, so you're telling me that Barry Jennings told you that the explosion he experienced was the towers collapsing. Is that what you're saying? Oh, what I'm saying is that he has... Is that what you're saying? Yes or no? Yes or no? That's what? Yes or no. You do you want me to answer or do you want me, do you want to speak for you're me? Spinning. You're, not, you're spinning the facts. You're not giving me straight answers. Are you saying that Barry Jennings told the BBC that the, ex the explosions he experienced in Building 7 were due to the towers collapsing? Did he say that to you guys? Yes or no? He doesn't know. He doesn't know he doesn't when the know. now he doesn't know. But when he did an interview with Loose Change, he made he very, doesn't know for sure he, he made very what he does, clear what he knows. He made oh, very clear in his interview with Loose Change, very clear that the, both towers were standing when he felt the explosion. He was very clear with it. Very clear, crystal clear. Go back and watch hey, the interview. Besides that, look at the NIST documents. What kind of event could it be other than what collaborated eyewitness testimony says that the building was basically brought down on the six seconds? 
I mean, there's first responders that heard the, guy, the countdown on the radio from, yeah, why didn't from you 10 to 1. Kevin McPadden, Kevin McPadden, McPadden the heard the countdown on the radio. Why I mean, he's a liar, right? Did you make a phone call to him? Yeah. Oh, you did? did. Oh, yeah. didn't want to do an interview. Oh, he didn't? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. I don't Maybe because he knows your credibility. Maybe because that for a second. I know the whole world, The whole world knows your fundamental. Like General Electric, everybody knows your credibility. Me. BBC, if you work, if you work and represent them, their credibility is garbage. It's dead. Everybody out why, here, why everybody why knows. Why, you why, the rest as well. why, why didn't you show the, the videos of the first responders on the day of 9/11 walking back from Building Seven, say, "Get back! They're bringing it down. It's it's about to blow up." Why didn't you include that in your documentary? Oh, boy. You hear that? If you're in that building, it'll be coming down. Building is about to blow up. Move it back. All right, guys. Sorry. We are walking back. There's a building about to blow up. Oh, you gotta get back from yeah. here. Yeah. Right. 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 Don't worry about me. You need to make calls right now. Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden worked for the CIA in the 70s and 80s. Oh, he's a great American. He worked for the CIA. No, he did he work the well, this is the thing. They take no, America's no, image and they destroy it. So Muhammad Atta was who? Muhammad Atta was a was, was a, 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 a double he agent. Was a he was too. what you would call a double well, agent. Well, the thing is, that you mentioned Muhammad Atta. I'm okay. glad you did because the Pakistani intelligence, Pakistani ISI, sent him hundred thousand dollars the week prior to 9/11. Even this was even covered in the Wall Street Journal. Okay. We confronted this, Joe Biden about it. The vice president. Joe Biden, another genius. We confronted him, and he confirmed that he met up with the terrorists. He confirmed it. Okay. And, and it's, it's on our website. You can check it out. There's not a so, word. So it was Biden, Biden was in on this. There's too. not a word in your 9/11 commission about. Well, he the used your excuse. He said it's about diplomacy. Ma'am, you mentioned Occam's razor. Yeah. What about Building Seven, the last building to go down, the first building to go up? Occam's razor. The owner of the building said that they pulled the building. That's a demolition. I mean, you cut, you we cut that resource right in half. Right in half. You you cut it in half. Right in half. Bullet means attach cables. Why did it's the BBC done. skew Larry Silverstein's statement about they didn't. bullet? Yes, why they did. did. Why, why, why did? Hold on, hold on. Yes, they did. They cut his the end of his Larry statement. Larry Silverstein can, can, can said. Can you just admit that on the BBC that they cut the end of his statement? No. Yes, they did. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander, telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. I ask every viewer. Can, can, can you just admit that on the BBC that they cut the end of his statement? No. Yes, they did. No. Yes, they did. They Larry cut the part where he says, collapse. "Yeah, he's, they cut collapse. and we and we watched the building collapse." They yes. cut that out of the BBC yes, completely. He did say that. that completely ruins the context of the quote. Okay, now, it takes the, ruins the context. You guys, you guys are liars. You're disgusting. Ex BBC, Ex BBC should be ashamed of themselves. Can, can I get Absolutely. in? A, can I get in a question?